the two countries have the same view on uh, mm. how inimical Iran has been to the security and stability of the Middle East. And so, yes, uh, definitely the Trump administration and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have the similar views on, on Iran. As does the Israelis, who will also be in attendance at this meeting. Just give me your sense of the evolving nature of the relationship between Israel under Benjamin Netanyahu and the more moderate Arab states. Yesterday, King Salman met with the president of the Palestinian Authority, mm. Abu Mazen, in Riyadh. And the headlines that came out today of that is that the king reassured President uh, Abu Mazen that the kingdom's policy towards the Palestinian issue has not changed. Mm. If the Israelis want to show that uh, there is some sort of uh, um, under the table uh, handshake between the kingdom and, and Israel, mm. it does not exist. Mm. It's really a figment of their imagination. Absent from the official photographs of that meeting was the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. What, if anything, should be read into that? And was this a necessary meeting to avoid any further complication as to what the Crown Prince's position is with regard Israel? His duties, I assume, precluded him from, from attending that meeting. People should not read into his absence uh, any, anything other than that the king represents Saudi Arabia and the Crown Prince follows the king's orders. Can we talk about U.S.-Saudi relations? Dominating headlines at the moment, damaging the reputation of the kingdom. Donald Trump's critics say he is shielding the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. Is he? You know, there is nothing to shield. Uh, the Crown Prince uh, is not, has not, and never had been involved in the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. Despite what people have read in the report uh, published in the newspapers about a briefing that the CIA gave to members of Congress in which they conjecture and presume that because the Crown Prince is in that position that he must have known about the killing etc etc. It is the lack of accountability and transparency around the investigation into Jamal's murder that I think we must agree is perpetuating this toxic atmosphere around the kingdom, particularly in Washington at present. When do you expect the investigation to be complete and will it put a lid on the whole thing? The process of, of trial mm -hmm. is underway and uh, people should not expect finality before that process is finished. You know, for, for many years, We've been uh, accused by people, not just in the American Congress, but in Western media in general and so on, of not having a very fair judicial system. Well, now they want us to interfere. So when you hear comments like, America should never descend to this level of moral bankruptcy, Congress will not relent in its efforts to hold Saudi Arabia accountable for heinous crimes. These are the words, by the way, of Senator Tim Kaine. What's your response? Well, I think the senator should hold his own Congress and his own leaders to the same standard. You know, that war that America initiated in, in Iraq was based on fabricated intelligence. So where is the equivalent 